Let's take a boring brown cedar chest and make it over with Dixie Belle paint products. This boring brown chest needs an update. Let's use Dixie Belle paint and Would You Bend products to give it a beautiful makeover. First steps are always to clean your product well with white lightning. Clean the inside and the outside. Assess your piece and do any repairs with your Dixie Belle mud. I use Dixie Belle mud to fill the original hardware holes and fix any veneer issues. I removed a small piece of trim that was in the middle of the chest. I also waited for the mud to dry. Once it was dry, I sanded back to flat. I used a beautiful gold spray paint to update the original hardware. I also sprayed the keyhole to match. Let's update the top of this chest with Dixie Belle's No Pain Gel Stain. No Pain Gel Stain is a great product to use. You do not have to sand the surface. Just clean it well with white lightning and apply with an applicator pad or a t-shirt like material. Keep your stroke smooth and apply in the direction of the wood grain. Let's apply some Would You Bend product to the front of this chest. Would You Bend is an amazing bendable, stainable, paintable molding. You heat it up with a hair dryer or a heat gun. You then apply it to your surface using wood glue. You wait and heat it again to make sure that it's adhered flat to the surface and you're ready to paint. We're ready to apply the second coat of no paint gel stain in espresso. You need to make sure that your gel stain has been dried from the previous first coat. You might need to wait 12 to 24 hours for this to be completely dry before you apply your second coat. Wipe on your second coat of no paint gel stain in the same direction as the initial coat. Let's get ready to paint the base of this chest. I wanted a neutral, classic decor. I chose sawmill gravy and burlap for the colors used today. I used burlap around the edges and the trim for a darker edge. I then used sawmill gravy in the middle. I used a medium flat brush and also used a spray misting bottle filled with water. This allows me to keep my brush strokes minimized and have a nice, even coat. After your initial coat has dried, you're ready to start blending on the second coat. Keep a separate brush for each color. Use your spray misting bottle to blend the colors together. Since these colors are so close and neutral on the color palette, they're very easy to blend together. After my paint has fully dried, I wanted to protect this with my best dang wax and clear. I used a wax brush, applied it on, and buffed it back. I used Dixie Dirt and Earth applied with my bell brush. I used Easy Peasy Spray Wax, sprayed it onto the front, applied the Dixie Dirt and buffed it back. I then used Warm Gold Gilding Wax to highlight any details. I used Gator Hide to seal the top of the piece with the No Pain Gel Stain. Would you like to win a $100 gift certificate to the Dixie Belle paint page? All you have to do is comment below, let me know which color from this video you would like to try today. Is it no pain gel stain? Dixie dirt? Let me know and you can be entered. In order to be entered, you also have to follow my YouTube channel at the top drawer RVA as well as Dixie Belle's YouTube channel. Two people will be drawn at random from the comments below. Remember, you have to follow my page as well as Dixie Belle Paint page here on YouTube to win the $100 gift card to Dixie Belle Paint website.
All products used in this video are linked below in the description. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe for new videos.